this video we will see a problem on calculation of normal and tangential stresses on an oblique plane for that here we have a question a tension member is subjected to an axial stress of 10 newton per mm square i'll write it in the data here the it is given that it is a tension member and stress is given so I'll write it as sigma suffix x, assuming it to be in x direction, 10 newton per mm square. And the plane of oblique is 30 degree to the axis of stress. Plane of oblique is inclined at 30 degrees, so it is theta. Compute the normal and shear stress on oblique plane. So here we have to find out how much is the value of normal stress and shear stress, which is also called as the tangential stress on this oblique plane which is inclined so when we have the data let us try to get the solution to this problem so here in the solution part i'll draw a diagram considering it to be a rectangle this is the axis of the rectangle and now we have an inclined plane which is the oblique plane given so this in red which I have shown, it is the oblique plane. And here the angle of the oblique plane is given in the problem. This is 30 degree and this angle is 90. Also it was given that a tension member is subjected to an axial stress of 10 Newton per mm square. So since it is a tension member, so the nature of the stress is tensile and tensile stress means it is a pull type of stress. So I have to show it onto the diagram. So this is sigma x. And now we have to find out that because of the effect of this sigma x, there will be stresses on this oblique plane. And that stresses on the oblique plane are normal and tangential stresses whose value we have to find out. So the first thing is, I'll have to know this angle made with respect to the vertical. So I'll separate the triangle here. Now, in the problem, the angle is given of the oblique plane with respect to horizontal that is 30 degree but in the problem we require this angle that is with respect to the vertical called as theta 1 because while deriving the formula for all kinds of stresses the angle was taken of the oblique plane with respect to the vertical so we have to know this angle so I'll say that therefore theta 1 will be 90 minus 30 which is 60 degree. Now, after getting theta 1, we can directly use the formula of normal stress. So I'll say that since normal stress is given by sigma suffix n that was sigma x or square theta 1. So here, when I put the values, sigma x is given in the problem as 10 Newton per mm square cos square theta 1, we have found out it is 60. So therefore, sigma suffix n, the value comes out to be 2.5 Newton per mm square. This is the first answer now in a similar manner we will calculate tangential stress therefore tangential stress is given by sigma suffix t is equal to sigma x by 2 into sine 2 theta this is the formula to calculate the tangential stress also called as the shear stress
sigma x is 10 sin 2 into theta 1 that is 2 into 60 degree so here the answer of tangential stress comes out to be 4.33 newton per mm square so this is the second answer now if we look into the problem the question was to calculate the normal and shear stress on oblique plane which is the inclined plane so here we have found out the normal stress and shear stress on the oblique plane and with this we complete the problem